Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D-Lord and we are here for the final game of the regular season. We're currently 55 and 26. We are winners of 19 of our last 25 matchups. Now we have lost three in a row, but that is because Kyle Corver went out with a strained knee. Now, I could have played him through the injury, but we already secured the second spot in the Eastern Conference. So I have been sitting him and he will not be playing in this ball game. We do, however, have Tabo Cephalosha back in the game. He is coming off the bench. I'm not sure if I want to start um, Justice Winslow, who you see make a layup right here, or Tabo Cephalosha going forward, but I have him coming off the bench for right now, easing him back into the game. So so currently I have Kent Bazemore starting at the shooting guard position with Kyle Corver um, out for the next, I think he's day to day right now. So he should be good for the playoffs, but I think he was out for one or two weeks. Um, but everything should be a lot better with Kyle Corver, especially by the time we're into the playoffs. But anyway, we want to start the commentary off. You see Porzingis right here. He gets the turnaround jumper to go down. We took an early lead, but right in here we're down by one. You see Kent Bazemore attacking the basket, and he gets that layup to go down so we're now up by two points now Garrett Temple he's going to drive in kick this one out and this one's going to be Neil who knocks down the jumper and this is a tied ball game but right here Goran Dragic comes off the pick and roll he's going to find Robin Lopez and he will finish that slam dunk but now Gary Neil shooting the three and he's knocking this one down giving Washington a one point lead and then Bradley Bill he will knock down a deep two as his foot was on the line and we went extremely cold here in quarter number two you see we missed that jumper right here Porzingis he will miss this jumper as well Ken Bazemore is tacking the basket he will miss this layup off the glass then the shooter is going to shoot another three he will miss this one as well. Cam Bazemore now has a wide open three point jumper. He misses this one. Then we go back to Porzingis. He goes with the turnaround jumper and he misses this one. I felt like we were stuck at 19 points the majority of the ball game. You see right here, John Wall, however, gets the and one. And they are now up by 11 points. Now right here, Bradley Bill is left wide open in the corner. He knocks down that three. It's a 10-point ball game once again. So now four minutes to go in the half. We're going to find Horford, who finally knocks down a jumper. And now we make this an eight-point ball game. And then right here, Kent Bazemore, he will pull up for the mid-range, and he knocks this one down as well. Six-point ball game, three minutes to go in the half. Bradley Bill makes this a nine-point ball game, knocking down that three. But here is Kent Bazemore. He's driving to the rack. He will go with the hop-step layup, and he will finish it. So we are now down. 32 to 41. Ben McMore coming off the bench and he gets that layup to go down. He's to join the six man role with Kyle Corver out. He's going to go with the back door cut right here and he finishes it with a nice cock back slam. So take another look at it. Goes between two defenders and finishes with that slam dunk. Right here we come up with a steal. Ben McMore is running on the break and he will finish it with a nice slam dunk. And the Hawks are going on a little bit of a run here. We were down by as much as 11 points. It is now a three point ball game with 20 seconds remaining in the half. But look at the moves right here by Ben McMore driving it to the rack. He will finish it with a layup. We are now down by one. We come up with a steal. Now I tried to throw the alley-oop here, but it did not let me throw it. But we're still going to get the ball down low to Cephalosha. He will draw the foul. So he is at the free throw line. He will get that one to go down. That's his first basket since returning from injury. He will knock down the second one as well. So at halftime, the score is 44 to 43. We are 0 for 9 from the three-point line. Hopefully, we can turn that around in half number two. So now, we're in the third quarter. You see John Wall right away. He's knocking down a three-point jumper, giving the Wizards a two-point lead. But Justice Winslow will answer back, knocking down the three of his own. And that is our first made three-point shot of the ball game. Right here, Dennis Schroeder throwing up the alley-oop. We cannot get it to go down, however. But Justice Winslow was there, and he will knock down the mid-range jumper. We are up by three points. Look at this play by John. Oh, wall fading away and he is still going to knock down the deep deep three this game is tied up but now later on washington is up 53 to 51 we're moving on the break this is justice winslow wide open from the corner he's able to knock this one down giving us the lead now off of a missed shot we are running on the break this is lamar patterson throwing up the alley oop and that is Justice Winslow finishing it. And this is Lamar Miller's really first action he has seen in a couple of months. He's only in the game due to injury. But this guy was passing the rock all over the place when he came to the game. You see him throwing another alley-oop right here. 
and we are now up 62 255. Lamar Patterson has it once again. He's lobbing this one up from deep, and that is just as one slow finishing with another alley oop. As we take another look at it, it was perfect execution between Justice Winslow and Lamar Patterson. So we're currently up 64 to 57. Seven. Garrett Temple will try to stop the bleeding a little bit. He knocks down that mid-range jumper. Now Temple once again, this time from behind the three-point line. He knocks down that three. It is now 67 to 62. He knocked down another mid-range. This is a three-point ball game. Now in the fourth quarter, this is Chris Humphreys making this a one point ball game but this is Justice Winslow he's going to drive to the basket he will finish it with a layup to make this a three point ball game once again and then Kent Bazemore for three he is knocking this one down we are up 74 69 Justice Winslow now with the mid range jumper he knocks that one down that's his 24th point of the ball game now we give it to Al Horford down low he finishes it with a turnaround jumper. Now you see Bradley Bill trying to fight back for the Wizards. He knocks down that three to make it a two-point ball game with four minutes remaining. But we will go on a run. This is going to be a three from Porzingis. You see John Wall driving into the lane. He gets blocked. Dennis Schroeder is now going to try to push it up the court. He will throw up the alley oop. And this is Justice Winslow with another alley oop finish. And this is going to pretty much be the ball game. We will end up running away with this one. And the final score will be 95 to 85. And that's how we finish the year. We finished 56 and 26. We're going to be second seed in the Eastern Conference. Justice Winslow led the way 28 points, 13 for 20 shooting. Porzingis had 21, 7 and 5 as well. And then Kent Bazemore, 13, 5 and 5. And this is the third straight game that Justice Winslow scored 20 plus points. So hopefully he could carry this momentum into the playoffs. But that is it for this episode. As always, let me know in the comment section below. Who do you think was the player of the game? Let me know how do you think this team is gelling as well as we head into the playoffs. And please leave this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lord. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.